All right, welcome to another video in my Naked Markets tutorial series. My name is Hugh, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use setup rules inside of Naked Markets. Now, this is uh, where everything kind of all comes together when it comes to backtesting with Naked Markets rules. Uh, because the setup rule is where you put your entry rules and your exit rules together, and you tell Naked Markets what you want to do when that setup happens on the chart. So let's jump into it. All right, so to create a setup rule, just go to Rules, Rule Manager, and then uh, create a rule in the lower left corner and create a setup rule. So I'm just gonna say uh, demo setup. Uh, we'll just start with long. Okay, so this is what a blank setup rule looks like. You have the setup condition and then you have the actions. Now the setup condition can be anything you want. Uh, you have to define it within a core rule or you can define it here in the setup rule. For example, let's say that you have a Bollinger Band trading strategy. Um, I made a video about this already. Uh, you can check that out on the Naked Markets Tutorials playlist on my channel. But uh, let's say that you have a setup condition where you want to sell when price closes above the upper Bollinger Band. right? So that's something that you could put into here. You could either create a core rule, uh, but for simplicity, I'm just going over setup rules right now, so I'll just do it in here instead of using core rule. I'll explain the core rules in a different uh, video. So let's say that you have uh, the Bollinger Band example. So you want the closing price to be, uh, so in order to add conditions, you just hit the plus and minus up here. And that's this is for the setup condition and for the actions, you hit the plus and minus down here. Uh, so close greater than, let's see, operators greater than Bollinger Bands uh, indicators. Okay, Bollinger Band um, above the upper band. Okay, so that's the setup condition. Whenever Naked Markets detects that on the chart, what do you want to do? And that's where the action comes in. So the first thing that you should usually do is instead of placing any trades, you just want to check to see that the uh, rule is working. So in order to do that, just go to actions and then pause back test. Okay, um, so I just realized I made a mistake here. So this is the long, I'm actually, this condition is actually for the short. So I'm going to change the name here. This is easy to do, just go into the setup rules. And then, um, oh, I have to save this first. Save, okay, so that's here, demo setup long. So this is actually a short, so I'm gonna rename it to short. And again, whenever you create these rules, uh, name it in the format of trading strategy, type of rule, and long or short. So in this case, it's gonna be demo, this is a setup rule, and then this is actually a short. So I'm gonna change this to short. Okay, and you got the short there. And uh, that's about it. So once that's set, then you can save the rule here in the lower left corner, and that's ready to go. Now, the beauty of setup rules is that you actually add the setup rule to the chart, and it's kind of like a monitor. It monitors the chart to see if the setup conditions are present, and if they are, they take the action that's in the action condition. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this onto the chart, and as you can see in the upper left corner, it says active rules, demo, uh, short, uh, demo setup short. So it's going to start looking for that. And once it finds that condition, it's going to pause the chart. So let's see if that actually works. And yes, it does, because this candle closed above the upper Bollinger Band and the uh, and Naked Markets hit pause. So I'm going to keep going. And uh, this is a great way to test it out before you start executing any trades or adding any additional logic. Always test things one by one, because if one thing is off, it's going to throw the whole thing off. And if you don't know which piece is not working, you're going to have to work backwards anyway to figure out which piece is not working. So it's always a good idea to test things right away. And this is the simplest way to test it. Uh, so visually speaking, we can see that this rule is working. And that is a great thing. All right, now that we have the short condition, I'm going to create the long condition. So that's simply flipping it around. So I'll go back into the rule manager. And uh, Naked Markets has this really cool feature where you can clone each rule. So just right click on the existing rule, clone rule, and it'll create this copy here. So I'm going to open that copy. And then I'm going to right click, rename. And then I'm going to name this long. Okay. And then 
Now all I have to do is change a couple of parameters. Uh, instead of closing above the upper Bollinger Band, I want to close below the lower Bollinger Band. So I'm going to go less than, and then I'm going to double click on this indicator value. And uh, I want to set this to down band, which is a lower band. Hit OK. And I'm still going to pause, right? OK, so now that that's completed, I'll save the rule, I'll exit out of here. And then I'll click and drag the uh, long onto the chart. Now there are two active setup rules on the chart. So I'll hit play, and that's working also. So now it's pausing in both the long and short conditions. So that's great. All right, so now that both sides are working, I'm gonna go back in and instead of just pausing the chart, I'm going to actually take a trade. So I'll go back into Rule Manager and I'll go to the menu on the right, double click on the Setup Rule. And instead of having the chart pause, I wanted to actually take a trade. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put in a entry rule. And in order to learn how to use entry rules, watch my video on that. It's available in the Naked Markets Tutorials playlist. Uh, but for ease of use right now in explaining the setup rules, I'm just going to put in an existing entry rule that I have. So I'm going to go to entry rule. And then uh, this one is for the long. So I'll put the long in here instead. So instead of pausing the chart, it's actually going to take a trade. Um, so I'll hit save on that. And then it's asking me, it's already loaded on the chart. Do I want to reload it? Yes. Okay, and then I'll head over to the short now. And same thing here, I'm gonna replace the pause back test with a, a short entry. Okay, hit save. All right, and it's asking me if I wanna reload it, yes. Okay, so now when I go back to the chart, um, I'm gonna hit play. And as you can see, it's actually taking trades. I think the, uh, indicator got deleted there. So I'm going to put this back on uh, Bollinger Bands, eight simple. Okay, so now you can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm just going to let it run. And now it's taking trades all by itself. So that's the beauty of these setup rules, you can test your uh, rules that you're creating, and you can even create a fully automated strategy. So that's how you get started with these setup rules in Naked Markets. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you don't have Naked Markets yet, there's a link in the description that will give you a discount. That's my link, and that will help you out. Also throw in a few bonuses if you purchase through my link. So that's about it. Be sure to check out my playlist with all of my Naked Markets tutorials, and that's the fastest way to help you get started with Naked Markets. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell to get more tutorials like this, and thanks for watching.